Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to have you here with me once again. Today we are going to be making another one of our family favorites, cheesy spaghetti bake. This will feed a large family and you'll get about 12 servings out of this. Don't forget, if you like videos like this, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not already. And you know what? Let's get cooking. This is gonna be so good. going to need one large onion, a green pepper, and we're only going to use half of this. A half a pound of noodles, about two, two and a half pounds of meat, two cans of tomato soup, one can of cream of mushroom, two cups of shredded cheese, whatever flavor you want to use is fine. I'm using cheddar and Monterey Jack here. Two cups of milk. For this recipe, we're going to start by putting a pan of water on. You don't need a really large pan because you're actually gonna use about half of a pound of spaghetti. So a smaller stock pot will work just fine. And sorry, I've only got half of it in the picture here. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and set our burner to boil um, and get that water going. I'm gonna lightly salt it. And then when it's ready, we're gonna add our spaghetti. Okay, so you're gonna need a 13 by nine pan, and this recipe is actually a potluck recipe, so you can double it. I've actually halved it to make a dinner, but you could double it, double it and make 24 servings. You would need two pans and a bigger stock pot for boiling your spaghetti sauce. Um, but just if you wanted to double this, because it is meant to be a potluck recipe, just make sure that you're doubling everything that I am currently using. But I've just got a 9 by 13 glass cake pan here. I'm going to go ahead and grease it. And I just use a regular cooking spray to grease my pans when I'm cooking. I don't get anything fancy. I just buy generic. I do prefer a butter flavor, especially when I'm doing baking. But this works well. Okay, so now that that's greased, we're going to go ahead and set this aside. So now you're going to need your chopping board and I'm just going to use my stovetop surface here to do this. Um, and I have a Dutch oven that I pulled out. We're going to use this later so I'm just going to kind of set it off to the side. But just know that I'm putting my vegetables in my Dutch oven and I'll show you why later. This you guys was another Christmas gift for my husband. He bought me two sets of knives and you all know I love Pioneer Woman if you didn't. Now you do. Um, but this is the other set of knives that he got me. I showed the last, in the last cooking video, I showed the knives that he bought me originally. And then he purchased the second set. And he said these are like everyday knives. So I, I'm in love with these. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, that one looks much better, you guys. That other one, I don't know what was wrong with it. It happens. Um, now we're going to take the skin off of our onion and yeah, tip from me to you, keep your garbage handy when you're cooking so you don't have to run back and forth if it's not close to where you're cooking at. I just slide mine right over. So we've got our pot full of onions. There's quite a bit in there. Huh, and I gotta tell you, my nose. <laughs> I had to go wash my hands, blow my nose. This onion, this got to me. Usually the garlic does it, but not this time. This onion kicked my butt. It was so strong. going to put my green pepper into my Dutch oven as well with my onion and we're gonna pull this out of here and we're going to 
trade places. Once I clean this up, I'm gonna add my burger and we're gonna get cooking. Well, I've got my water for my spaghetti boiling. One of the things I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my oven and it needs to cook at 350 degrees and I'm starting my dinner a little bit later than I would normally like to because this is gonna take a while, but we'll just go with it. Okay, so now that my water's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and add my noodles. So you're gonna need a half a pound of noodles. I'm gonna cook the whole thing because I have a child that will not eat this, but will eat buttered noodles. So I'm going to tweak some of this recipe. So I'm just gonna cook up the whole thing and kind of make a separate dish for one of my children that has sensory issues. Okay, so for this recipe, it says to break them up into three inch. I don't know exactly what three inches is, so I just kind of break them into thirds. That's how I go with it. And we're just gonna set them to boil. It's not precise, you guys. It doesn't have to be. Just so long as they're cooked. And I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. And then the noodles should be done right about then. I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a stir and let them cook. So for this recipe, you're gonna need about two, two and a half pounds of meat. I'm gonna cook some of this up separately for one of my children that does not, like I said, um, he doesn't eat red sauces. So um, I've got about two and a half pounds here. I'm gonna use about a half a pound for him. And then the other two pounds I'm gonna cook up in my stock pot. I just put a small stock pot back here and I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate about how much. That's probably good. I can probably actually use a little less. I'm gonna fry my burger up back there. The rest I'm gonna put in here. And we're gonna start that frying up here in a minute. I wanna stir. Ooh, I got splattered. I wanna stir my um, spaghetti here so it's not sticking to the bottom. Just give it a stir every now and then. And then I'm probably gonna break off a little bit of this. I don't think, I don't think he's gonna quite eat that much. So we'll do, we'll do about that much and put the rest into our pot over here. That's probably a good one serving. That's about a hamburger's worth there, I would say. And then what I'm gonna do, because he's not eating much, um, like flavor-wise, is I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoned salt on the side here to give him a little flavor. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on our burners. Probably go about seven, and I'm gonna turn this one on. All right, so I'm gonna give this another stir. And then, I kinda of chop up my burger back here a little bit, get that seasoning around. So I didn't intentionally <laughs> cook two meals, like to show you to cook two meals, but because I am Let's be real, cooking for my family while I'm making this. You can kind of see how I make some adjustments according to our children's needs. So, and this is how I do it. So now I'm just gonna chop this up and, um, so basically what you're doing here in the Dutch oven is you're gonna be browning your, on your burger and um, have your onions and your green peppers in there and at the same time, getting your noodles prepared. So that way, once this is done, it can all go together. So now when these are done, we're gonna go ahead and just put them in our pan and you'll see, you'll see how this all comes together. It really is a super easy meal to make and it's really tasty, really, really tasty. Let that pan get a little bit hot, let that burger go. Our noodles are about boiled. So we are going to go ahead and drain the water out. So now you're just gonna dump your noodles right into that pre-buttered pan and then just kind of spread them out so they're pretty even. And 
And we're just going to set that aside. It doesn't matter if they get cold because these are going to go back into the oven. So we're just going to leave that there until we're ready. So our burger is done. And our onions and peppers, you guys, it smells heavenly. I hope you try this recipe because it's, it's so good and it smells so good. So now we're gonna add our soups and I've turned our burner off and we're gonna add our tomato soup now. You're just gonna dump that right into your Dutch oven. Oh. <laughs> so, I grabbed cream of chicken, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, normally your recipe calls for one can of cream of chicken. That's what you wanna use, but I'm not gonna waste everything I did, and I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. Might actually make a better flavor, so I'll let you know how it tastes when we're done. I really don't think it's gonna mess it up too much though. So let's just do it. So now you're gonna mix all of that together in your Dutch oven. Mine's a little bit warm now, so I think I'm gonna cover my hand while I hold it. But you're just gonna mix all of that in together. This is gonna be so good. Oh, it smells amazing. You're gonna take one cup of your shredded cheese and dump that right into your pot. Now you just wanna mix all of this together. So cheesy. And now we're just gonna dump our mixture right on top of our spaghetti. You wanna take your second cup of shredded cheese and you're just gonna make a top layer with that. You're just gonna kind of spread it the best you can over the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're gonna pop it in the oven. Then you're gonna set your timer for 40 minutes. All right, so you're gonna also need two cups of milk. And you guys, this stuff happens. My uh, spaghetti bake is already in the oven and I forgot to add the milk in this recipe. So I only did one cup of milk. The spaghetti is gonna go ahead and absorb it. Um, but I only did one cup of milk because it's not fully sinking in there. So I will probably check this in about, I don't know, 15 minutes and I might add some more, we'll see. 